Viking Masic Packaging Technologies in Ootsburg, Wisconsin. Today's video is about setting up the tracking sensor on one of our ST Series stick pack machines. Today I'm here with an ST600. This video is a helpful guide for all of our newer ST Series machines and many of our other vertical form fill seal machines that utilize the same type of tracking sensor. All of our vertical form fill seal machines use a tracking sensor to monitor the path of the fill as it exits the carriage. The sensor sends feedback to the machine control regarding the position of the film as it exits the carriage. The control then actuates a tracking motor to move the entire carriage to keep the film in a uniform position as it is fed through the former assembly. This setup helps to overcome tracking variations in the film path. Before we get into setting up the tracking sensor, a brief word about safety. Before performing a repair, be sure to follow your organization's standard operating procedures for safety, lockout, tagout, and personal protection equipment. Do not perform work in the machine compartment of an energized and initialized machine. Do not bypass any safety switches or relays. Failure to use caution while working on the machine by not using adequate safety procedures could result in injury or death. Only authorized personnel should perform machine repairs. Viking Masic cannot foresee every instance where possible machine damage or an injury occur. So, work on the machine at your own risk. If you need assistance, schedule a service visit by one of our authorized technicians with the number at the end of this video. Okay, with that said, let's go set up the tracking sensor. To properly set up the tracking sensor, you must first center the film roll to the carriage. Centering the film to the carriage ensures that the carriage can move the needed distance to the right or to the left to track the film consistently. Centering the film to the carriage is pretty simple. Step one. Measure both sides of the film roll to the edge of both sides of the carriage. Step two, move the film's position on the spindle until these two measurements are equal. Step three, don't forget to lock the film roll into place. The tracking sensor senses the location of the edge of the film with a set of two photo eyes located within the sensor. The sensor looks to see if the film's edge is between the two photo eyes. It does this by seeing if one photo eye senses the film's presence and if the other does not. The tracking sensor then sends feedback to the machine control. The machine actuates the tracking motor to move the carriage in the needed direction to keep the film between the sensor's two photo eyes. On many of our newer tracking sensors, a yellow indicator light turns on to signify that the associated sensor detects the film. Follow these steps to move the carriage and set up the sensor. Step 1. On the HMI, touch the film tracking icon to bring up the film tracking menu. Step 2. Turn off automatic film tracking. Step 3. Use the manual film centering buttons to move the carriage and film path to the needed location. Expert tip! To save time on initial setup, center the carriage to the machine before running the film. Step A. Pick the same spot on both carriage sides and measure those sides to the corresponding spot on the machine frame. Step B. Move the carriage with the manual film centering buttons on the HMI until the two measurements are equal. Step four, when the carriage is in a good spot and the two outside film strips are at the appropriate width, adjust the sensor to set up automatic film tracking to keep the film in the needed location. To do this, manually adjust the sensor position so, A, the film moves undistorted through the sensor's film guide, and B, the sensor is positioned so one photo eye senses the film and one does not. Use the indicator lights on the sensor as a reference for knowing when the eyes detect the film. Expert tip. On an ST machine, it is a handy practice to run the film strips of the two outside lanes off to the side while you run the machine to adjust the tracking. 
Run the strips to the side until you have moved the carriage into a position where the film strips for the two outside lanes become the correct width to make sticks. Run the film strips down the appropriate lane once the strips are the correct width and your tracking is set. This practice saves time. After all, you can't really make a good stick until the film strips are the appropriate width for the stick lane. Step 5. Turn automatic film tracking on. The carriage should adjust as needed to keep the film edge between the sensor's two photo eyes. Well folks, that's how you set up automatic film tracking on an ST machine. If you are watching this on YouTube today, check out some of our videos of our machines in action. If you need to set up the slitter blades for an ST machine, there's a video for that now as well. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below and look out for future videos from the Viking Mesa crew. Until next time, happy packaging.